Hey everyone, it's Mr. Z, and today we're going to be going over the next step for the second grade self-portrait. So, the last video that you should have watched was setting up your self-portrait with the three guidelines for your eyes, nose, and mouth. And we're using the guidelines for this project because guidelines help your self-portrait look more realistic. It has your eyes, nose, and mouth in proportion which also means like the normal human measurement. If your eyes were three times the size of your nose, it would look more like a cartoon and not like a realistic self-portrait. So everyone should have this done. You have your frame, your head, your neck, your shoulders, your ears too, the basics of your face, and then your hair. Now we're going to move on to the details. And this is a picture I did during one of my Google Meets. What you're going to do in the top part of your frame for my second graders, you're going to write, I want to be, and then you're going to put the occupation or the job or what you strive to be when you're, when you're grown up. So mine is, I want to be an artist. You could say, I want to be a doctor, a nurse, um, someone said a veterinarian, um, a police officer, a gamer, a designer. Think about all the different jobs there are and what you would aspire to be. What are your likes and your dislikes? What are your interests? And you want to pick an occupation that you think you would want to do when you grow up. So on the top part, you're going to say your occupation, I want to be, and then have this here. And on the bottom, when I grow up. So it reads, I want to be an artist when I grow up. And on either side in the frame, you're going to add elements of your occupation. So because I want to be an artist, I'm going to add different art supplies. And I added a palette and a paintbrush with some paint, a big bucket of paint, some colored pencils on the other side. And you want to draw those elements and color them in. And I like to use value, which means I'm pressing hard on one side and I'm lightening it up on the other. Because when you add value, it makes your drawings look more realistic. It gives them form or makes them look more 3D. Like they're popping out of your page instead of just laying flat. So you want to write what you want to be when you grow up in the top part, and then you're going to add details showing the different things of that occupation. If you want to be a vet, maybe you draw your favorite animals on either side and really filling in that space. And then you want to go in and color. Once you're done with the frame, I want you to add details on you that show your occupation too. So because I want to be an artist, Sometimes like the cartoons of artists have berets, that fancy French hat. I added some paint splotches on my face because sometimes you can get paint on your face when you're painting a big picture. And I also added a name tag. So if you're a police officer, maybe you want to add a badge. You could add maybe um, the symbol of a police officer here. Maybe you want to do blue stripes. A lot of people use the blue stripe to represent um, the police force. If you want to be a gamer, maybe you add that headset that a lot of professional gamers use, and you can actually add the cartoons or different icons of your video games or whatever game you like to do. And once you have this all drawn out, I want you, like I said earlier, to use color pencil or crayon to color these in. And I would use value because it makes it look more realistic. And since you work so hard making your guidelines and your face look realistic in proportion, you want to continue to try your best to make it realistic on the outside here and with your coloring. So I trust that you guys can color these by yourselves. Um, you know, some kids are saying to me, Mrs. Z, this takes way too much time. 
you don't have to color it all today. What you can do is take the next week and, you know, take 10 minutes, maybe after dinner, you know, sit in a comfortable corner of your house and just work on it day by day. And then pretty soon it's all done. So you don't have to do it all today. You can slowly work on it and just make sure that you take a picture and submit it um, by next week. And I'll have that date on the, the assignment in our Google Classroom. The last thing I'm going to show you before I go here is how to color your skin tone. And when it comes to skin tone, I'm finding that these five colors um, are a pretty good base. And depending on your skin tone, you add more of one color. So the three primary colors are always a good bet. You always start with those. It's a nice base. I do a little bit of orange to warm it up a little bit and then some brown. So I'm pretty, I'm a paler person. So I'm going to use more of my blue, believe it or not, because I have like a cooler skin tone. My veins are blue. So it's more of like a cooler skin tone. If you have like warmer, like a yellowy greeny vein, sometimes if you have more of like an olive color in your skin, you might want to use more orange and brown rather than blue. So look at yourself and slowly layer these colors together. So I'm going to just very lightly, very lightly, you guys, like I'm barely putting any pressure on my pencil. Just going to lightly color. And you can either do one color and then the other color, or you can layer as you go like I am. So I started out with my orange. I'm adding a little bit of that red. The primary colors, the dream team here. Yellow. Blue. I'm going to do a little bit more blue. And a little bit of brown. And what happens is, when you look at it close up, you can see, let's see if I can focus that, you can see the colors individually. When you put your self-portrait down or when you have someone hold it for you far away, like across the room, these five colors blend together to create a skin tone. So these are the colors that you want to start off with. My primary color dream team, red, yellow, and blue. And then I go in with a little bit of brown and orange, and depending on your skin tone, you add more of one color than the other. So I'm just going to show you quickly on another self-portrait for third grade what this looks like. So I added a little bit more red because I tend to get redder on my forehead and my nose. So I added a little bit more there, but from far away, this really does blend in. So that's how you want to color your skin. Um, and for the eyes, just like on the other self-portrait I just showed you, I would start with your value, press hard on one side, lighten up the pressure as you go. And then for your pupil, you can even add a little, leave a little bit white to show like a little light in your eye. So your goal today is to finish drawing in your frame, drawing elements that describe what you want to be when you grow up. You want to write your occupation. I want to be a blank when I grow up. You want to color the whole thing. And like I said, this is due in a week. Take your time. Enjoy coloring. Put on some good music. I'm also going to um, put the link to the YouTube playlist that we would listen to in class. And just really enjoy, you know, drawing and coloring this great self-portrait. Thanks for watching.